Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Farzad Misbahi and I worked at Tesla for four years, finishing my career as a program manager. In today's video, I'd like to cover why I left Tesla after those four years. It seems like the most frequent comment that I've been getting since I started my videos is why I left Tesla. And so I figured I'd take some time and explain to you in detail why I left. So let's get right into it. First, I'd like to give you a little bit of background. So before I worked for Tesla, I worked at a company called Philips Pet Food and Supplies which is a distributor of pet food and supplies for the United States. Uh, I believe they're still the largest one in the country. And at that company, I worked starting as an analyst all the way up to a director of business intelligence and pricing. And during those seven years that I worked there, I received honestly the best mentorship anybody could have ever asked for. I got the chance to work uh, directly with the CEO of the company, the COO, the CFO, the CMO, the CTO, the VPs of the company. And that gave me such a unique insight into how decisions are made at a business. What are the things that the businesses usually focused on? How they approach problem solving? And mind you, this is not a tiny company. This is a company that's doing a billion dollars a year in revenue. So uh, definitely not as big as Tesla, but uh, it was the biggest player in its industry in the United States. And that experience was completely amazing. and. I got to work with so many awesome people. I had a team of about 10 folks, uh, which I think about to this day. If you, any of you guys watch this, love you guys so much. I still think about you. And then sometime around 2017, the opportunity for Tesla came up. At first, I thought that the job posting that they had was a typo because it was listed as a job in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And in my head, I'm like, why would Tesla ever come to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania? That sounds pretty wild. It's, you know, it's a small town, not very well known. Tesla, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, that sounds crazy. But lo and behold, it was, uh, it was true. <laughs> it wasn't Bethlehem, Israel. It was Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And uh, yeah, it worked out. I was able to uh, join the company and I was incredibly excited to do so, mainly because I've been following the company all the way back since 2012. I, I had been an investor, a huge fan of the product. We owned the Tesla Model S, so we were already, you know, right on that bandwagon and super excited about the company and also being able to work at the company at the same time that is just a, an incredible combination right someone who's as passionate as i am about the company and also work there what like get paid <laughs> to work at tesla while i love the company so much pretty pretty wild stuff but thankfully it all worked out i was able to join the company and for the next four years that was the most rewarding challenging, intense experience of my life. Completely nuts. The biggest highlight of all was the incredible people that I got to work with. The most talented, hardworking, witty, problem solvers that you'll ever meet anywhere, in my opinion. And being part of that culture was second to none. That's something that I'll, I'll never forget. For, for the rest of my life, to be completely honest. I just could not believe how much fun it was to work at a place that was so damn hard. And I've actually created a video that goes deep into detail into what it was like working at Tesla. I'll put a link for this video right on the screen here, and I'll also put a link for it below in the description. If you're interested, I would appreciate it if you watched that video. And so if we fast forward about three years, uh, 2019 going into 2020, COVID hit. And as we all know, COVID has been such an impactful thing to everyone in, on this planet, really. All the hardships that are created, lost jobs, businesses closing down, people getting sick, people dying, just such a challenging time for, for everybody. But the one silver lining out of that time was that I was able to take some time for myself. There were restrictions around being at the workplace for a little bit, making sure that everybody's kept safe. And so during that time, I prioritize thinking about myself. Really, ever since I graduated Penn State in 2009, I've been going a million miles an hour trying to make a career, trying to make something of myself. And really, all arrows were pointing up for me up through that point. And I've been so incredibly fortunate to have had that experience. And once I really did take that time, I realized that I haven't really thought about myself and what I'm really passionate about up to that point. And so during that time of a lot of self-reflection, I really started to prioritize things that I wanted to do, things that I felt would put me in a better position to really pursue what I believe were my passion or pursue opportunities that I was really excited about. And one of those things was trying to go to a different place in the world, trying to move out of the area that I was in to see 
what other places were like. And one of the biggest things that happened that allowed me to make that move was Tesla announcing a gigafactory in Austin, Texas. How about that? And literally the, the day, or maybe it was the day after, I approached my boss and I'm like, hey, knowing that I can do a lot of my work remotely, do you think it's okay for me to move to Austin, Texas? And he said, yes. And so we moved. <laughs> and that, that period of my life, man, it's, I, I can't tell you just how, how lucky I, I felt. Work was going great. I was able to move to a city that seemed to have incredible potential. People down here in Austin are so nice, so warm. Weather's amazing, so many things to do. It's just, it's just a great place to be. And not only was that move life-changing for myself and my wife, the same time, you have a Tesla stock price that's just completely exploding, right? This is the time where Tesla went from being about $300 a share, really anywhere between 180 bucks and 350 bucks a share before the split happened, exploding all the way up to $2,000, $2,400 a share. And as Tesla employees, a lot of us, if not all of us, get part of our compensation in, in those shares. And now you have people like myself that are gaining this incredible financial security by working at this company. And then I started getting these thoughts like, man, okay, I moved to Austin, Texas. I'm financially secure. I'm 34 years old. My wife and I don't have any kids. This seems like a pretty incredible gift that we just got from the universe. And then for the next six months, I really had a battle with myself. I had a part of me that was saying, take this gift, move on from Tesla, explore the world, travel, pursue all your passions, you have to do this, you have to do this. And then the other part of me was like, you're crazy, you're at the best job ever, surrounded by the best people ever, your paycheck's incredible, why would you ever leave? And then I had this battle, this internal battle for the longest time, for those six months, filled with a lot of guilt, to be completely honest. I felt really selfish having those thoughts and wanting to do that. But then what really made it click was that even if it's Tesla, even if it's this incredible company that's so rewarding and is doing such an amazing thing for the world, I still wanna do things that are not Tesla related. I have my own goals, I have my own passions. I would love to start a band again. I had a band back in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Some of the most fun I've ever had in my life. Very passionate about that. So I really wanted to get back into music. Traveling the world and experiencing other cultures is something that I, that I completely and absolutely love. We're on this planet for such a short period of time. The fact that I have this luxury to be able to use my time to explore all these things, why wouldn't I do that? You know? And to be completely honest, starting this channel was part of that passion too. I was thinking about starting a YouTube channel about my guitar playing, you know, just videos of me doing covers of, of, of bands and stuff, and a huge Metallica fan, and Opeth fan, Gojira, a bunch of different other bands. So that's the kind of stuff, you know, I was looking to make. But then I really started thinking about, like, man, I have this really unique perspective of having worked at Tesla, having been a fan of Tesla for so long, before and after it. I feel like that would be really cool if I create a channel about that, you know? I get to take part of this incredible community. And then in my head, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go tell my wife, I'm quitting Tesla because I think we should travel the world. We're young, we don't have any kids. Let's just pursue our passions. We don't need to work anymore. Let's just go do it. I'm thinking my wife's gonna say, well, you know, what if the economy goes down? What if we lose our assets somehow? It seems very risky. And then to my surprise, she was like, I think that's a great idea, let's do it. And then for the next couple months, I became the person that's saying, yeah, well, but have you thought about the economy? Have you thought about us losing our assets? What if this happens? What if that happens? I became my own worst enemy to the decision, right? But then after a little bit of time, after a couple months, I finally came to grips with it. I became really comfortable with the idea. And then I put in my notice. And then September 17th, 2021 was my last day. And now 10 weeks later, that is by far the best decision I've ever made. I have the freedom to do exactly what I want. I got to start this channel, which is, appears to be getting really good feedback, and I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate that from everybody who's been watching my videos so far. We've got some trips planned for next year. We're gonna go to Ireland, we're gonna go to South Korea, we might go to Guyana, who knows? We're gonna go to a bunch of different places. And I've been playing my guitars a lot more. That's been super fun. You know, that's something that I've, I've really, really enjoyed. And really, with this channel, what's, what's interesting to think about is that, yeah, I may have te left Tesla, the company, but I, I haven't really left Tesla. You know, I think Tesla is much bigger than just a company or an individual. It's, it's, a, it's a mission, it's a goal. It's this fundamental shift to how we operate as human beings when it comes to 
energy and transportation and God knows how many other things Tesla will come out with. It's way bigger than Elon. And I, I'm very confident he would say the same exact thing. It's not just employees. It's not just products. It's a community. And being part of that community as an investor and fan before I joined Tesla, as an employee while I was at Tesla, and now back as an investor and a fan again after Tesla, it's become very clear to me that this is more than a, just a one-man show. It's everybody. It's human beings coming together and pushing a very important mission forward. And to be completely honest, I'm also extremely excited about the talent that's going to be leading Tesla here in the next decade that are incredibly smart people and super talented. And now they're gonna be equipped with capital to go out there and make incredible products, incredible services, and amazing things for the world. That is an incredibly exciting thought and something that I'm very much looking forward to seeing. And so in conclusion, I'm so excited to have started this channel. Again, I can't tell you how thankful I am by all the positive responses I've been getting. I truly could not have predicted this. I was excited about the content. I felt like I could give a very unique perspective, being an employee and being able to share my stories and talk from that perspective, but I would have never imagined this sort of response this quickly. So again, I wanna thank everyone so much for watching my videos. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you give it a like. If you wanna keep watching content from me, click subscribe. If you wanna be notified when my videos come out, click that bell button. And if you'd like to become a patron, I've left a link to my Patreon in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.